Good morning. Today we are including some verses from the Psalms as a prompt for our prayers. Let's pray together. Blessed is the one whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Psalm 32 verse 1. Lord, we thank you for your awesome gift of salvation. We can't begin to grasp how high, wide and deep your amazing love is. But we thank you for sending Jesus, your precious son, to die for us. Thank you that as we confess our sins, you forgive us, you wipe the slate clean and offer us fresh starts. Lord, we come to you. Let our hearts be changed, renewed. Hold us close. Let your love surround us. Lead us on in the power of your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Psalm 19 verse 1. Lord, we thank and praise you for this stunning world that you have created. We pray now for healing of the earth where it has been abused. We pray that leaders of nations will recognise the damage that has been done and work together for the good of all mankind. May they and all of us grasp a vision for the well-being of the planet and be prepared to make sacrifices to do so. Help us all to play our part, however small it may be. Lord, hear our prayer. The Lord is my rock my fortress and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge. Psalm 18 verse 2. Thank you that here in the UK we are free to worship you. Today we pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ throughout the world who are suffering persecution because of their love for you. Comfort, strengthen, and encourage them in their hardship. Be their rock, their fortress, and their deliverer. We also pray for wisdom and courage for organisations and charities who seek to publicise injustice and corruption in governments of oppressive states. Bless them in their work. We pray for those who reject you and are hostile to your people, soften their hearts, that they might come to know you. Lord, hear our prayer. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Saviour, and my hope is in you all day long. Psalm 25, verses 4 and 5. Lord, as the whole world suffers from the effects of the pandemic, we give thanks for those in the front line and for all key workers. Give them strength in body, mind and spirit as they battle against fatigue and increasing pressures and demands. We pray for politicians and scientists that they will have wisdom and integrity in the face of difficult decisions. We pray too for those dealing with the complexities of regulations and procedures following Brexit. Thank you, Lord, that the vaccine programme is now well underway. But most of all, we thank you that our hope is in you all day long. Guide us all in your truth, and teach us your paths. Lord, thank you for hearing our prayers that we ask in the precious name of Jesus, our Saviour. Amen.